So I wanted to take this time real quick to talk about my thoughts on content creating, considering that there are notable people who have either quit doing YouTube after so long or are backing away from it more and more for other things. And it can be sad to see people you probably are or were fans of and or maybe in some ways the reasons as to why you might have wanted to become a YouTuber and they're just kind of leaving to do their own thing. Which to be honest, I'm happy for them. Like, they're doing what they want instead of feeling like they have to consistently do what they've been doing just because it's popular or something. But there is a question I think that plays in the back of people's minds, whether or not you just watch this content or even make it yourself. Why is this happening? Or to be more precise, is making content on YouTube or streaming on Twitch, is this an avenue I should go down in the future? Now to those that don't know, I've been making content on this site for about 8 years now, including my previous channel, which I've left. And in all this time I say this, the way I see it, if you want this to be a job, you're gonna have to be ready to hate it. What I mean specifically is the burnout, and it's not hard to find people talking about this, but really imagine it for a sec. Imagine you yourself end up in a position that gets you to where you want. You're doing big on YouTube, you're getting so much attention. At some point though, you notice that certain videos you do get more attention than others. Maybe it's something you had fun doing once, or maybe it's something you didn't intend to do again. But then for the hell of it, you try doing it again. And then it gets more and more attention. And then you decide, I love doing this, and people love it as well, I'll keep doing it. And then you keep going, and keep going more and more and more and more and more and more and eventually you're doing this day in and day out continuing to do these videos the more you do them the more attention you get and eventually you start hitting milestones you get trophies more and more and more to the point where you are at a level of success that is insane to you there's a question that's asked by oneself every time that moment becomes real what do i do now and that's a complicated question and to me, this question is one that really makes everything you've done up to now sink in. And it's one that I think is a big factor as to why people who have been on this platform and others for years on end are deciding to walk away. Maybe not for all of them outright quit, but take a step back all the same. And that is that ultimately, being a content creator that has fun with everything you do and being successful do not constantly connect without some reason to connect them. Because otherwise, what's left to fill one side, at least to me, is this feeling of apathy. The other day, my friend Kagado streamed Persona 5 Tactica, and in the middle of the stream, he said something that I actually think is relevant to this. He brought up his plan about what to stream down the line, but he also mentioned patterns he noticed about his streams and his content, and how many people show up at the beginning and how eventually there's a drop in viewership and attention after some point. Now, to people who just watch the content, it probably doesn't matter all too much, but for those who not only upload, but want to actually make money with making content, it's something that I think is empathetic. Because the reality of it is, if you want to be successful at this, you need more eyes on your content. That's the truth. That's how sites like YouTube work. That's why as far as jobs go, Personally, I think making content is probably the more unfair and shittiest job out there for a lot of people because of the way it's set up. When you work a normal job, right, no matter how much you hate it, at some point within a month, you should be receiving a steady paycheck for your time regardless. YouTube, Twitch, this isn't that. Because you spend most of your time trying to prove that you should be paid for this. So much so that, with the amount of hoops that people have to jump through to make their next vid capable of making money, for the people making the content, as fun as it can be for them, it isn't surprising to me if they make a vid one day saying, I'm not on here anymore, I set up something here for people to pay me so I can keep living. And next to that, with the amount of stuff that happens on the internet on a weekly basis, Actually believing platforms like these are places where you can just do what you want with people you want and even make money off of it, it starts to feel more like a pipe dream to me instead of an attainable goal. 
Honestly, if there was an actual walkthrough to play in the game, I imagine everyone would be doing it. Which is why the game constantly changes, which is why these platforms constantly change how to get popular and how to get viewers. And on that note, with how many people are on platforms like these, meeting people in the same boat as you who you regret meeting to begin with becomes more and more commonplace. I'll give you a story, this is one I've told before. Someone that I knew previously asked people about how to get famous quick on YouTube. They wanted to get popular for personal reasons. I told them that unless they're lucky or they just want to go and outright make themselves into a pariah, that's not going to happen easily. Because sites like YouTube don't actually promote any and everybody. The sites just promote certain videos and certain people that it chooses. Think about it. For sites like these that are said to have billions of people worldwide on it and hundreds of millions of people who make content even, it seems odd that only a handful of creators actually get the spotlight, even more so if you're new to the site. Anyway, I tell them pretty much it's, it's basically not going to happen right away, which is why for these platforms, I personally believe persistence is key. Being a content creator means you're going to fail. A lot. Views are going to be down, people won't find your videos, so on and so forth. But to me, if you keep going and going, at some point, you should be able to hit that moment where you can actually break out. To quote Zuko from Avatar, you have to try every single time. You can't quit just because you think you might fail. Something like this is what I've realized being on this site for over 8 years or so if we're including my previous channel. But apparently to this person, this was not the answer they wanted. And why would they? This doesn't solve their issue. So in a DM, I had a conversation about some things I noticed about their content and what they could do about improving it by looking up what other people have done in the same vein and went, try this, it might help. And throughout the conversation, they continued to put down all of the stuff I brought to them, which is, I, I you know, I don't really mind because I mean, they're just suggestions. Like you don't have to do this, right? Eventually, I just brought up stuff like collabs and whatnot with friends, which led me to asking if, you know, they just brought me onto the platform for the hell of it. Like at the time, we were friends and I was just intending to do what my friends have been doing for me for a long time, which is just come to a platform just to hang out. Because regardless of how big or small someone may be online or not at all, we're all still people. And there's nothing wrong with bringing people you vibe with on your platform because you wanted to hang out with them. Hell, some of the biggest channels out there do this. Reaction channels, gaming channels, even VTubers, etc. That pretty much was where I was coming from. But the person I was talking to said, and I quote, It's best I name my stream to Sozo's anime reaction video than my own. I want both sides to contribute and not being the stepping stone. Basically, to translate that, they were pretty much afraid that I was just going to take over their platform to the point of them having to rename it to basically be another platform of mine because they were afraid of basically becoming a stepping stone. They didn't want me on their platform because they thought I was going to use them to boost my own and take over theirs like some soulless network executive. They even had the nerve to tell me, so you know I have a talent on doing, insert personal job here, right? Think before your next answer. The next line might change is everything. Basically to translate. So you know I have this job in real life, right? Be careful with what you say next, because this could be the end of our friendship. They said this after I tried relaying to them how much I don't care about attention as much as I cared about having a good time with friends. After that, I cut ties with them and... Pretty much a year after that, when things just so happened to be taking off for me on my platform, I get a message from that same person after a year of silence who tells me, Water under the bridge, let's just move past this all. Not actually understanding how they treated me and not apologizing for how they acted. Around the end of last year, I brought my friend Kagado onto my podcast, and I find that same person in my comments saying, Great podcast, hope to see you do this again sometime. I've even had friends DM me with messages from them saying stuff like, We've had our differences and misunderstandings, but as long as he's willing to move on, he'll do fine. The reason I said if you want this to be a job, you're going to have to be ready to hate it, is partially because of stuff like this. 
interactions with people that believe you're the problem regardless or are just bad for you to be around, platforms that are more akin to a popularity contest than an actual job, and the burnout through doing stuff you like consistently over and over again with no breaks. It's not to say that YouTube or Twitch or whatever can't be places where you meet good people or turn it into a job or take hiatuses and come back no problem, but I think for a lot of times, all of this is inevitable. And it's why I've honestly stepped away from the idea that I need to be successful at this and make this my job. Because it's actually made me apathetic towards being a YouTuber or a streamer. I don't think that I'm going to be successful, and that's okay in my book. Look where I am right now. This is a hobby. I'm playing games with people who I'm friends with. I'm doing what I love without giving a damn about how many or how little views they get. I've been trying YouTube since I was 16. I'm 24 now. Trying to do this as a job with no pay except from some people who are willing to send me some money is not a future I care about. But what do you think? Let me know.